What's going on you guys? This is all Danny Day one on the PS4 and I'm gonna be giving you guys another Ghost Recon Breakpoint video. And this video I'm gonna be giving you is going to be about why you should be doing your faction quests. So let's go ahead and get into it. So faction quest is gonna be located on the objectives board on the right side, and you're gonna see these different um, tags, Mad Shoals and Harui Ito which you're going to end up meeting both of them later on in the story. Mads you meet pretty much in the beginning of the story. Harui will be just a little later on down the road. But anyways, you're going to have two different faction um, faction quest lines. So you have A Long Road to Victory and Staying Safe. These are different episodes and whatnot, but or different chapters. But the thing is, you want to make sure you do these faction quests because one, you can actually get rewards for doing these quests and as well as XP. As you can see right here, oh, right, right over here, it'll show you the rewards that you'll be earning and the amount of XP and whatnot. And you can earn rewards from the faction missions as well. I just had already completed them, so it's not going to show you. Um, but yeah, so you're going to go to the battle rewards and you're going to notice all these things that you have here. So it works like the battle passes, like in Fortnite and Apex Legends and all that. But you can't actually, you, you won't be able to buy these with real money, which is good. You have to actually play the game. But you have a long time to get these done. So you get like about two months, almost three months. Uh, I'd say about three months-ish. Uh, two to three months, yeah. But anyways, you get about two to three months to get all 49 tiers completed. And... Obviously, at the 49th tier, you'll actually be able to get Nomad as a figure character. When you go all the way over here, you're going to see you can get Nomad, and it says reach tier 49 of Battle Rewards. And this is a character you would be able to actually play as. And um, all the other ones you won't be able to because you have to actually purchase them. But there are a few other items in the game that you can earn as well, which is really nice, that you won't be able to actually get anywhere else. For example, some of the blueprints, like the G28 Scout Wolves um, blueprint, you won't be able to actually get this from anywhere. You can purchase this with real money, but you won't be able to, I believe you can. Uh, I think. I don't remember. Don't don't quote me on that. But for the most part, you won't be able to get any of these items anywhere else other than from the Battle Pass. Or the Battle Pass. The, uh, um, what is this called again? The, yeah, the battle, the battle Rewards. So, yeah, all you have to do is just do your daily missions and whatnot. Now, you're going to notice it says Daily Progression. And I'm at 250 out of 400. And that's because of the missions itself. The missions will have a Battle Points. So that it'll that you'll see. So right here, it shows that I'll be earning 50 battle points and 400 XP. So those 50 battle points will go towards to that 250, and it'll push it to 300 once I complete it. And you can only do up to 400. You can only earn up to 400 points a day, or 400. Yeah, 400 battle points a day. But right here, this is your battle points XP bar for your tier list. So you know the more battle passes or the more battles you do or faction quests you do, the more battle points you earn and the more you level up. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, oh, also, so yeah, I would also recommend to not do everything. Don't do all the faction quests because it does cap out. I mean, unless you just need the extra XP and you just want the extra items and the materials, then go ahead and do it because these reset every day, every 24 hours. So as you can see, the daily reset is in 12 hours and 49 minutes for me, but, or for everyone right now at the moment. But it does reset every 24 hours, and at Pacific Standard Time, it's around 1 a.m. is when the time actually resets. So you have some time to get these done. The faction support quests are actually super quick and super easy to do. The faction missions, they don't, they're not long at all, but they're not, a, they're nowhere near as quick as the faction supports. But the faction supports don't reward you with that many points. They only reward you with 15 points, and sometimes they can reward you with um, yellow items, the elite items. Sometimes it'll be blue. Sometimes it'll be materials. Whereas the items in the faction missions can be the same. It can reward you with um, yellows, or you can reward you with purples or materials as well. But these generally give you more XP, I believe. No, they don't. <laughs> they give you more battle points, that's for sure, though. You can get 50 to 100, whereas the faction supports give you 15. 
But anyways, that's pretty much it with this video. Hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, go and leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know down in the comment section. And I'll try my best to answer them to the best of my ability. If you want to see any other videos that you're you know that you, you're curious on, let me know down in the comment section. And I'll also try my best to provide that for you guys. Anyways, that's pretty much it. This is all the end of the one on the PS4. Have a good day. Good night. And peace.